Hello guys, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial, in this tutorial, we are going to see, how to create, colored glitch logo reveal animation in After Effects, so without any wait, let's see the preview. Here I have already imported my logo and music file, you can download the music file, from the link given in the description. So without any wait, let's create our logo animation. Let's create a new composition. Name it as glitch logo animation. As usual set width and height to 1920 by 1080 pixels. Make sure frame rate is set to 30 frames per seconds. Set time duration to 5 seconds. Perfect. Now let's create a new solid. Name it as map. Now in effects and preset, search for fractal noise. Add it to solid map layer. Let's change noise type to block. Now in transform, unselect uniform scaling. Now increase scale width as shown. Perfect. Now decrease scale height to near about 80. Let's increase contrast to near about 170. Now make sure you are at start of the timeline. Create a keyframe for brightness. Change brightness value to 200. Now at 1 second. Change brightness value to minus 30. Now at 1 second and 4 frames. Change brightness value to minus 50. Now at 1 second and 10 frames. Change brightness value to 40. Now at 1 second and 15 frames. Change brightness value to minus 20. Now at 1 second and 22 frames. Change brightness value to minus 40. Now at 1 second and 28 frames. Change brightness value to 140. Now at 2 second and 8 frames. Change brightness value to 200. Now at 2 second and 15 frames. Change brightness value to minus 50. Now at 2 second and 22 frames. Change brightness value to 200. Now let's see the preview. Perfect. You can see the created keyframes. Now in effects and preset. Search for fast blur. Add it to solid map layer. Now change blurriness to 50. Change blur dimensions to horizontal. Select repeat edge pixels. Now in effects and preset. Search for turbulent displace. Add it to solid map layer. Now let's change amount to near about minus 70. Now change size to 9. Now for map layer. Press R to bring up the rotation. Now change rotation to minus 10 degree. Now press S to bring up the scales. Now increase the scale value as shown. Now let's see the preview. Perfect. Now let's recompose the map layer, name it as displacement map.
Now we need to add our logo to the timeline. Let's do it. Now hide displacement map composition. Now for logo, scale logo if needed. Now let's pre-compose it, name it as logo. Perfect. Now for logo composition. In effects and preset. Search for set mat. Add it to logo composition. Now change tick mat from layer to displacement map. Now change use for mat to lightness. In effects and preset. Search for displacement map. Add it to logo composition. Now change displacement map layer to displacement map. Change use for horizontal displacement to lightness. Now change max horizontal displacement to minus 50. Change max vertical displacement to zero. Now we need to create four duplicates of displacement map. Press Ctrl plus D to create duplicate. Now for displacement map 5, change max horizontal displacement to 200. Perfect. Now let's see the preview. Perfect. Now for logo composition. Let's add the mask, double click on shape tool to create mask for logo composition. Now for mask 1. At 1 second and 15 frames. Create a keyframe for mask path. Now at 20 frames, let's change mask shape. Change unit to percent of source. Change top to 100%. Now you can see the preview. Perfect. Now again add logo composition to the timeline. For logo composition, in effects and preset, search for fill, add fill to logo composition. Change fill color to white. In effects and preset, search for color armor. Add it to logo composition. In input phase, add phase to displacement map. Now in output cycle. Change preset to ramp green. Change black color to white. You can see the preview. Now in effects and preset, search for set mat, add it to logo composition. Change take mat from layer to displacement map. Change use mat for lightness. Now add set channels. Change source 1 to displacement map. For set alpha to source 4 change it to saturation. Now in effects and preset, search for displacement map. Add it to logo composition. Change displacement map layer to displacement map. Change use for horizontal displacement to lightness. Change max horizontal displacement to minus 50. Change max vertical displacement to zero. Now let's create 4 duplicate of displacement map. Press Ctrl plus D to create it. Now for displacement map 5, change max horizontal displacement to 200. Perfect. Now in effects and preset. Search for color armor. Add it to logo composition. In input phase, add phase to displacement map. 
Now in Modify, unselect Modify Alpha. Now you can see the preview. Now in Effects and Preset, search for Glow. Add it to Logo Composition. Now change Glow Radius to 150. Now again add Glow Effect. Now change Glow Radius to near about 600. Now in Effects and Preset, search for Color Balance. Add it to Logo Composition. Here you need to adjust Hue. Let's set Hue to 277 degrees. Now let's see the preview. Perfect. Now again add logo composition to timeline. Now in effects and preset, search for Vegas. Add Vegas to logo composition. Now in image contours, change channel to alpha. In segments, change segments to 3. In rendering, change blending mode to transparent. Change color to white. Now change width to 0 0.5. Change height to 0 0.7. Now at 26 frames. Create a keyframe for length. Now at start of the timeline. Change length value to 0. Now you can see the preview. Perfect. Now in Effects and Preset, search for Displacement Map. Add it to Logo Composition. Now change Displacement Map Layer to Displacement Map. Now change Max Horizontal Displacement to minus 120. Change Max Vertical Displacement to 0. Now create 4 more duplicates of Displacement Map. Press Ctrl plus D to create it. Now for Displacement Map 5, change Max Horizontal Displacement value to 500. Now for Logo Composition, press T to bring up Opacity. Now at start of the timeline, create keyframe for Opacity. Change Opacity to 0%. Now at 1 second, change opacity value to 100%. You can see the preview. Now at 1 second and 12 frames, create keyframe for opacity. Now at 1 second and 22 frames, change opacity value to 0. Let's see the preview. Perfect. Now let's create duplicate of logo composition. Press Ctrl plus D to create duplicate. Now for duplicate logo composition. For Vegas change the width to 2. Now at start of the timeline. Create keyframe for rotation. Now at 26 frames, change rotation value to 2. You can see the preview. Perfect. Now select all compositions. 
pre-compose them. Name it as animation. Now for animation composition, press S to bring up scale. Now at 5 frames, create keyframe for scale. Now at start of the timeline, change scale value to 0. Perfect. Now let's add the music file to timeline. Let's pre-compose it. Name it as music. Now let's see the preview. Perfect. Here our colored glitch logo reveal animation is created. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, then make sure to like and share this video, and also subscribe to my channel. Thank you.